Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Sabrina and I make pottery here on this channel, but today I'm going to be showing you some of my two-dimensional artwork in the form of my sophomore year sketchbook. So if that sounds like an exciting time, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe for more generally pottery related content, but sometimes other stuff. Um, and also let me know if you guys want to see this kind of other stuff, because I have a lot of that too. Let's get into this sketchbook. So this sketchbook doesn't have a cover like most of mine don't, but I do have sophomore year written on the back with 2013 through 2014, the years during which I worked on this. And yeah, so this is the first page that hasn't been ripped off yet. It's getting kind of close. Um, you can see there's been some other pages here before, but they're gone now. But anyways, uh, we have this nice candle ink drawing with a real quick background there. Um, good, good start, I guess. Uh, this page is kind of a collage style watercolor situation. Yeah, just some real nice edgy quotes and random stuff. Whoops, sorry. I remember um, I had submitted this one to the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, and I believe it got an honorable mention, so that was pretty exciting for me. Um, I submitted stuff for that every year, and I never really did that well, but it hasn't really changed my life, so I guess it's fine. Uh, here's a weird kind of page. I remember you've probably seen that on Tumblr at some point, maybe, but I wanted to draw that and just, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. I don't know what was going on. This is a, a self-portrait kind of a situation. Interesting. Here's some colored pencil stuff. Here is probably a demon, I don't know. Um, I used to try and do like tattoo style sketches a lot, and I still do, so this is an early instance of that. Um, I remember this, I was trying to design like 21 Pilots related tattoos. Some lyrics and stuff. This page is a poem and some watercolor stuff. I used to do a lot more like like mixed media I guess. Just writing and using ink and watercolor and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I remember when I drew this I was so happy with it that I didn't continue with it at all. Like I was planning on this being a lot more elaborate but I just thought it was so great that I was so afraid to do anything to it, which, I don't know. you gotta take risks, sometimes it pays off. Uh, here's just some full body sketches, some good old red, red ink, it says it's a sad day when your pen slash marker dries out. I really enjoyed that red pen. Here's some more faces. I used to be really into drawing like profiles of people. Here's some more drawings and writings. Ooh, there's there's an ex-boyfriend. Um, this is some celestial feminine form situations. I thought I was such an edgy 16, 15 year old. Gross. Uh, this was like a girl with like some woodland creatures and little bunnies and stuff. Um, and like a, a pond, I guess. I don't know. I always had really grandiose ideas for backgrounds that I never really executed. I really have always enjoyed this. This blue sketch here was the it was just in my like science notes or like math notes or something and obviously this was what I was trying to do during that time. Um, so I really liked that sketch so I tried to replicate it. 
just don't really like that. I've always wanted to get like a tattoo or something similar to that. Um, here's some brand new lyrics. I don't know. Honestly, looking at that, I'm like, that would be a sick tattoo. I'd get that. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll do that someday. Here's like a skeleton cameo type lady. Here's some arcade fire lyrics. One of my favorite things about going through old sketchbooks is because I did write the lyrics of so many songs that I liked. Um, it really reminds me of the good times and what kind of stuff I was into then. Here's an ink something. I don't know what kind of brush I used for this. I don't know. It turned out kind of cool. Here's some geometric kind of stuff. I was really into like bold line work and trying to do cool shoes um, and just kind of monochromatic schemes. This is a drawing of my best friend in high school. So I think it does look like her, so that's a win. Swore shit from Tumblr. This was me trying to sketch my logo for my self solo music project that never really panned out, but that was gonna be my, my name. Here's some writing. I really like to do like text boxes, like text message style boxes. Here's more of that. Uh, I think this is lyrics from a song by a band called Sailor Heart that I again very much enjoyed at this point in life. And then just some random like cluttery type items. I'm pretty sure this was a poem that I wrote, and then I crossed stuff out and wrote a new poem. Voila! There's a lava lamp over there. Uh, got some eyeballs, the, the beginning of my eyeball endeavors. Uh, this turned out kind of nice. Took an interesting angle. Not one I would probably try now. Here's some more moon, moon mannequin girls. Um, got some wax dripped on there. I feel like I could have probably done a lot more with that. There might be another page that I dripped wax on in here, but it just turned out like not, not really great, but still, I tried. This one's like a, it's a robot. Robot Boy. I did. I did Robot Boys pretty often. Um, I wrote here, my only New Year's resolution is to stop drawing so sketchily, and my teacher would write like these post-it notes in here, and I said, why would you do that when it's a cornerstone of what makes your work strong? And I remember at the time just being really frustrated because, um, like, this is, this is how I drew, and this is how I always draw with, like, rough lines and very heavy-handed and dark and I really like admired people who were able to draw very lightly and like daintily and I don't know they could just do something with like one one line instead of like 45 lines um, so I don't know but looking back on it like yeah that is really what made my work strong I guess and I am not mad at it uh, this is Kristen Stewart from Adventureland, which was one of my favorite movies then, and it still is now. It's cool, cloudy, cloudy head kind of girl. I think that was like a self-portrait. It looks like maybe me if I was like a China doll or something. This page, I don't remember what the prompt was, but I really hate this so much. Um, like I really don't remember what the prompt was. Uh, but I just remember like I was coloring this in and it just started reminding me of like Barney and like I really didn't want to be feeling that way so I just abandoned it because it was getting kind of weird. 
So, little teacup, napping teacup girl. Oh, this is um, when I very briefly was interested in playing Dungeons and Dragons. This was going to be my, my guy. So. Right, here we have a, a demon girl with some, some caps. That's exciting. That's cute. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's kind of creepy. I'd hang that up on my my wall. I might actually. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go hang this up on my wall. Oh look, here's that other wax stuff I was talking about. Um, yep. It looks just really bad, but I tried. Ooh, here's a squirrel. I don't draw animals very often, and I still don't now. I don't know. I like his eyebrows. Uh, I remember really liking this one too, and her hair, hair, and her her socks, band aids. You can tell I was still on Tumblr a lot. Um, this looks like. Some like dress sketches. Cute, cute girl on a stool. Uh, I think this was supposed to be like a graffiti inspired page, so I I tried. Oh, the background's like Facebook with a bunch of snarky stuff. Some more girls. I remember these watermelon socks were real socks by Odd Future, and I always really wanted them, but they're really expensive. I don't know how expensive, but I never got them, so I just drew them. Oh, look, on February 3rd, presumably 2014, I had a, a pass. Light bulb, light bulb head guy. Oh. Here's a cat that got ruined by the wax on the other page, but this was some attempt to draw animals. I think that one turned out pretty nice, actually. I think the prompt was, what animal would you be if you were an animal? And cats all day, every day. I really liked this page um, before I added the wax to it. It's like a ghost boy. She's cutting her hair, his leg is a candle, I don't know, there's a lot going on. Uh, but I don't know, mostly his hands I thought were like really... Some of the finest hands I've ever drawn. Let's see... Some inky stuff... Cool crying 3D colored people... Moon girl, a shoe. It's a nice shoe. Yeah, I'm just doing some more sketches. I feel like this sketchbook, you can tell I'm like going through something. It's a lot less organized, I guess. Um, it's also just a lot of like weird <laughs> random sketches. Well, that's cool. This sketch here actually ended up becoming a really big piece, probably like, I would say probably like 30 inches by like 40 something inches. I don't know. It was pretty decently sized. Um, and I did like, there was a bathroom like rug in the front that I made with tissue paper and I cut out different squares of tissue paper to make tiles on the wall. So, it was really edgy because I was, I had to draw boobs. It's fun. I don't have that drawing anymore. I mean, didn't hold on to it, but whatever. Some more sketches. I really wanted to make um, an arcade fire themed drawing. They were one of my favorite bands. This is the album cover to Birthdays by Keaton Henson, which was an album that I liked then and still 
listen to pretty often now. Some outfit sketches. I really like drawing like fabrics and folds of fabrics and yeah, more full body stuff I did back then. Some more pencil sketches. There's a whole bunch of post-it notes here. We got like an hourglass kind of thing. This page is cool. It has like a, a faceless ghost girl. Some more text bubble stuff. That's cute. I think this was more when I started getting into like making Harry Potter characters. Uh, so I think that's what she was for. Yeah, I think this is like charcoal pencil or something. I actually really like that. That's kind of cute. This was me and one of my best friends. Love you, girl. Some colored pencil stuff. I wish I did more with colored pencils. Um, I had like the, the small Prismacolor set in high school. And I still have it somewhere, but I think it's like half empty and I don't know. I probably dropped it a bunch. But I would very much like to do more of that. Here's a girl sitting on a pile of donuts. Here's some geometry stuff, I think. There's some cool colored pencil stuff over on that other page. Oh yes, I found another red pen. I like this drawing a lot. That one turned out pretty nice too. Interesting. This is like acrylic. We were doing some still lives. Not my cup of tea by any means. And then we got some more red pen sketches. Just a bunch of weird faces and things. Gosh, everything's falling out. Um. Yeah, color pencil and red pen at the same time. That's exciting. Mm. That looks cute. Oh, that's a cute outfit. Yeah, I really have always just had an affinity for that red pen. I like these. I remember this was kind of like 21 Pilots inspired. Um, this was when I got my first tattoo. Um, well, no, this was after that, but my first tattoo was a Tornado Pilots tattoo, so they were real, real big in my life. Um, random pencil. I drew a lot of people without clothes. Here's not a faceless girl. This page is pretty cool. I like these. I'm not sure what exactly they are, but I like these. Oops. This looks more like my older pages. I drew a lot of hands. I drew a lot of candle people. in all sorts of directions in here. Nowadays I don't really draw on like this side of the book. I don't really like it. Oh now we're upside down again. Great. Some pencil stuff. Colored pencils. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Some eyeballs. Oh, that's cute. 
cute. Got some more pencil stuff. Um, I think that might be just about it. Some green colored pencils. Interesting. Trying to go fast. I don't want this to be 30 minutes long. Unless you want it to be 30 minutes long, let me know. Also, let me know if you guys actually like watching stuff besides my pottery. Here's some geometry stuff. Um, I don't know. I really like looking through my old sketchbooks, and I feel like it's interesting to watch. So that's what I'm doing here. But let me know if, you know, this is not the place for this. And I will put it somewhere else. Here, let me know what you think. If you have a favorite page, let me know. It'd be fun. Um, yeah. Let me close it down. Cool, and that puts us back at the, the front. Had a few casualties today, but that's all right. I'll just shove them back in here, and it'll be fine. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was as exciting for you as it was for me. And let me know if you want to watch my junior year sketchbook tour. I can do a video on that if you'd like. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and you can also subscribe for generally pottery-related content, but also other art-related content, slash whatever else you guys want to see, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!